Thanks again for tuning back in. This is the final video of 2024, and I'm actually recording this on Christmas Eve. This video, quite a short one again, but it's just to provide you with five photographic ideas for 2024. Some of them you've maybe tried, others you may not have tried, but it's worth giving them a go. Plus, at the end of the video, I'll give you the best investment that you can ever make in your photography. So without further ado, let's dive right in. ICM and multiple exposure feature quite often on this channel, and it's one of the things I love the end results of it. But if it's something you've never tried, it's maybe worth just having a go one day if you've stuck in a creative rut, don't know what to shoot, the light's terrible, whatever it may be, it may be worth just giving it a go to see if you like the final results of your images. Sometimes you may be surprised, other times they won't work the way you've intended them, but it's definitely worth having a go. If you've never tried it, why not give time blending a go, where you take a series of images over a period of time and then using the software of your choice blend in the areas of the images that you want to use to build up the full final image you're not constricted to iso over any of the shots as well as aperture and shutter speed these are all open to you lose all the colour information from your scene and just look at the tonal values of it. Depending on the camera that you use, you can set your LCD to monochrome and that will allow you to look at the tonal values of an image and it takes away the distraction of colour from an image so the composition then takes precedence in most cases and it's something that I like to try myself and I like to do as often as I possibly can. With the long dark nights, there's no better time than to focus on your editing skills, whether that's learning a new software or improving at the software that you currently use. No matter what genre you shoot in, there'll be something from every other subject matter that you can apply to your own genre. Investing that little bit of extra time will only improve your images. This one is sometimes more easily said than done because of the weather and safety when out in that weather. But as you probably know, you'll get more from your images and your photographic experiences if you're out in all weather conditions. You'll know how you perform, you'll know how your camera performs in these conditions. You'll know what to look for, grey days or really nice mornings. It just depends. But investing time in your photography can again only make it get better. Those ideas are probably not new to a lot of you, but hopefully there's something in that mix there that's given you a wee bit of inspiration that you want to go and try. If you would like me to do a more detailed, in-depth video on the time blending, just put it down in the comments below. I also want to extend my appreciation for your support and the valuable time that you're giving me to watch these videos on the channel. And also, I read all of the comments. I know I don't manage to reply to all of them, but I do read them. I try and make time during the week to get back to everyone, but I know that that's not always the case. But just to let you know, I do read them. And thank you very much for your continued support on this channel. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the biggest investment you can ever make in your photography is time. The more time you can give to your photography, the better you're going to become as a photographer. That's it. That's as easy as that. Invest your time and the rewards are phenomenal. Just want to wish everyone all the best for 2024 and I hope it's a great year for you. And there's no snow here at the moment, although it's forecast for next week. I just want to leave you with a video that I recorded four years ago. It's just a drone video, so it'll be the Mavic 1, Mavic Pro 1, uh, where there was lots of snow. Thanks again for watching. Take care.
and see you in 2024.